authority is coming back to them. And besides the people we talk about, Ian, that doesn't look like Rust, but Fokka, you might think doesn't look like Rust. I actually looked it up on Bing. Bing is not to be wrong, I think. Never wrong on nuclear weapons and explosions. Neither is Google, but still. Say the Bing. Uh, okay, moving on, I wanted to talk about the permanent solution. This permanent solution that I have is to end bigotry. You want to end it permanently? There is only one solution. Kill everyone. There is no alternative. You can't get it to end if you just put bans and you, oh, what was that term, use, you, uh, uh, anyway, never mind. Bans do not, it's not going to stop it. But, I'm going to kill my aunt, it, it happens almost all the time. Well, okay, okay, just keep it in mind. Just, okay, just go with keep it in mind until I can remember what that word was. But the extinction of mankind would actually end the racism, the sexism, the homophobia, the transphobia, the phobia against everything else. They would all be gone. There would be nothing left. But however, you will be able to survive. Well, if you would survive the everyone else thing. Well, everyone else being dead. I mean, that's not to say that you're gonna clean up the fucking place. I mean, the disease ridden everything, and everything is trying to, all the germs are trying to survive. So yeah, 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 yeah. Then you've got a these stupid laws and whatnot that are coming out, like the mansplaining law. That, that is the really stupidest law. There's already a law that says you have to let senior citizens have the seat closest to their door. There's already a law about that. And yet, you got people who are claiming manspreading is worse than the people who sit there. No, it's not. Because I remember from... I don't even know. A person who I shouldn't want to say it. He took pictures of women placing three dozen bags to the left and the right. Taking up entire seats just from going shopping. The stereotypical thing that women do that feminists won't like. Apparently. I mean, it's a stereotype in generalization of women. <sighs> then banning things like pornography at universities, like. I can't remember the exact school, but banning pornography, that's not going to stop sexism. <laughs> if anything, people are going to bring in porno magazines. I mean, fuck. Not only that, who's to say that they can't just use their cellular data to buy porn? Or buy porn. Yeah, I know, it's kind of ironic to say buy porn. Still, people still buy porn. I'm guilty of it. These people are idiots. You can't just end something like that. Not only that, the whole cup law. That's not going to end racism. 
being set of Lisa's accomplice taking the blood oath since his mom. Even after he's found. Or is she? You can't just change a person's mind by doing something like that. You can only make them either more violent or is the killing is a prey? I mean, there are some people who go out of their way to keep the person down. To have vengeance out the wazoo of what they want to do. And this is coming from someone who thought that this since he was 12. That the only way to permanently end racism is to kill everyone. So since I was 12, this has been at least part of my subconscious. Yet, why have I not killed a single living soul? Well, I can tell you. Because I have a fucking conscience. At least I'm not gonna try and put people in a fucking zoo. Like a guard they try and hold. It's saying we're gonna put me into a zoo. And they can be checked out like library books. Isn't that, you know, saying that the guard are doing something wrong gonna be nasty? For news? Because they're dehumanizing men. As if they weren't already doing that to some of the records anyway. I mean, fuck it. I can't trust a lot of these things. I can't trust The Verge. I can't trust The Guardian. I can't trust The Vatic Zoo. I can't trust 300 an hour. And I'm not doing it. Because they have something out there to write article after article filled with prejudice against people. It doesn't matter if it's white or male. There is prejudice in these sites. Although, 300 an hour, I might be tempted to pass. It might be Return of Kings. It, it, it doesn't matter. I actually pretty much get my all my news source from anything Al Jazeera talks about that isn't in America is the only thing I'm going to see. Because the whole Ferguson thing I can get on YouTube. The whole thing. Well basically Twitter becomes his news source in a way. And not only Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. All these sites are my news. Al Jazeera used to be my straight up news guy because you know the Guardian thing just had to say certain things that the Guardian doesn't. As if ethics does not matter anymore. And I mean, fuck, it's already bad enough having to be social justice warriors and feminists and religious sites. I mean, seriously, it's bad enough having to be dealing with that crap. And when a slight amount of few, or a slight few, I actually do not consider it. But anyway, let's hope you enjoyed.